It is your friendly neighborhood history teacher, Go Amelia County. So I'm wearing the uh, colors for Spring Run Elementary School, where I was a library and substitute teacher, as well as summer school teacher before I became a real teacher, which is the history teacher, which is what I've always wanted to do with my life, maybe. Um, thought I'd do a special video. This is not a live broadcast, obviously. You're seeing this pre-recorded. But, you know, let's just, if we want to be real about what happened with the um, scores. Uh, on the test on Friday, it was pretty much this. Yeah, yeah, was a big old explosion. It's no good, you know, and we want you guys to be this. Yeah, that's right. So, um, thought I'd go through this with you. That's right. You're going to get to see that what the test would probably be like if when we retest. And we are going to retest because a lot of you got this. <laughs> and that no good. So, Let's go ahead and, um, you know, let's forget about what you did. Let's just blow up those old old scores for some of you that didn't do well on the test. Pew, pew, pew. And let's go through this. I thought I would um, do this with you and just give you a little bit of help with this if you're paying attention to it. I know it might go a little long, uh, but this is a good way for us to do working together. That way your parents can live their life and not have to sit there and do the test with you. Isn't that great? Who loves you, baby? Who does? This history teacher. This guy right here. You. Me. Let's get to it, right? Quizzes. Pew, 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 pew. Pro tip. Let's do it. All right. Who was president during the War of 1812? Well, one way to remember this is that his wife saved his butt. Um, by keeping him out of the White House because the British were coming again. They thought they could try to beat us up twice. First time in the Revolutionary War. This time they're trying to do it again. And guess who um, saves a bunch of stuff? Because the British come, they actually burn down our White House. They burn down the um, Congress. They burn down the Library of Congress. But Dolly Madison goes in before they get to the White House and saves a bunch of artifacts, saves a bunch of paintings and things that are still in the White House to this day, especially the painting of George Washington. So that would be, let me get my interactor here, that'd be old James Madison. See? See how you do that? James Madison. Oh, just by the way, while they were having fun, like making fun in the White House while they were in there stealing things and setting fire to it. A tornado came during that time and actually killed a bunch of those redcoats. So, divine providence if you believe in God, or just the fact that karma if you believe in that. But, don't mess with the U.S. Wrote a doctrine warning European nations not to interfere in the Western Hemisphere. And it's easy to do this when you're after James Madison and we kick the butt of the uh, redcoats. So, again, mom and dad, see, I'm going to go through this with uh, your kids so you can go do what you need to do on this weekend. I got this. I'll do some preparation with them. So, the doctrine would be the Monroe Doctrine. Hello? Yeah, the Monroe Doctrine. That was the doctrine for, I mean, up until very recently, all right, to ratify something. Look at all these words. When words are many, sin is not absent. Just kidding. Simply means to approve. Hey, use double jeopardy. I don't even know what that means. No, I don't need to use double jeopardy. I'm the history teacher. And don't you forget it. Pew, pew, pew. All right, branch of government that carries out the laws. The United States president and their administration. So the president is like a chief executive officer, right? So that's the executive branch. It's not the Federalists. That was a type of party or type of system where... There was a balance between states and the national government. A compromise? That was kind of short there. Legislative branch? No, that has no legs. Legs. Legislate. Led. Legal. No, they're carrying out the laws. They're executing those laws. That's the executive branch. It's going to be funny when I get one wrong and I'm going to be embarrassed at my own test. It could happen. Who was president when the Louisiana Purchase was obtained? Well... Let's come up with a way to remember that. Louisiana. It's not John Adams because that was bought after. It was bought with Napoleon, who knew he could talk to Thomas Jefferson because Thomas Jefferson was very pro-French in his day. 
It's not James Monroe and it's not James Madison. Little James Madison. It's Thomas Jefferson. He is the president, okay, during that time. And how many branches of government are there according to the Constitution? There's the executive. That's one. So executive, one. Legislative, two. And judicial. With the Articles of Confederation, there was just one. It was legislative. So go ahead and choose three. Three branches of government. That way they balance each other. The one that makes the laws. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. And I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. That's where the Congress meets. And Congress is legislature. Lots of legs. There's a lot of people there. There's, you know, now there's 535 representatives and there are 100 senators. So a lot of legs, you know, and it's legal. They make the laws. So legally, that's where we get the same word. It's not the Constitution. That's not a branch of government. Ratify means to approve. And judicial branch is where judges are. And legislatures are not judges. Mostly lawyers and people that are really mediocre when it comes to common sense, but uh, very big on ego. Just kidding. No, we, we appreciate these guys and gals. It's legislative branch. Boom. Answer. Check mark. Wow. Yeah. I'm beating cross thread almost. Power up. Okay. Who was president when the Bill of Rights was added to the Constitution? Well, it was George Washington. He had already become president, but the states before ratifying uh, had said, we want a Bill of Rights. And there were 10 in the original Bill of Rights. We have 10 amendments. Amend means to add to. Payol. Oh, look at me going 100%. Now I feel like Ethan or Miranda or somebody like that. Or some of you others that get 100% on these things. Oh, my dog is scratching at me. Come here. Come here. Dog time. Come here. Come on. Up. Come on. Come on, Tucker. Come see the people. Come here. Come on. Come here. Tucker, come here. You see him? Is he? He's right there. Oh, you can't get him. There you go. Get that. He thinks he wants treats. He's being ignored. Okay. Articles of Confederation, right? They create a document based on power share between national and state. Kind of, but no. It established the powers of the new national government because it was the first one after the revolution. It was kind of like, let's make a kind of a loose confederation where we get together. Confederation kind of brings together the states, um, but not really a big, powerful USA government. More like just something to kind of put us all together. So use the power up. I don't know. So, yeah, it's document that establishes the new government. Because Articles of Confederation came first, then the Constitution, then the Bill of Rights. They interpret the laws. The United States Supreme Court. Well, Supreme Court has nine justices. Justices, judges, judge, 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 judicial branch. Yeah, yeah. I'm so awesome. All right. God, this takes forever. Look at me. I'm in number one place where I belong. Number one. Okay, so where's my interact? The judicial branch. Oh, they're going to ask me twice? Okay, cool. Do, do, do. It makes doesn't make the laws, and it's not a person opposed to anything. It's one of the three branches. It's not a written plan. It's the branch that interprets the laws. United States Supreme Court. Can I ask that twice? Barely correct. Wrong again. Totally correct. I'm going to bear that in mind. Sorry, that was unbearable. See what I did? It's the only branch of government created by the Articles of Confederation. Well, back then they had just one thing. They didn't have a president. They didn't really have a, a judicial branch. Um, so they just had a federal branch. I mean, a, fe a legislative branch, which a bunch of people. So it's legislative. Look at this. Oh, power up. Let's go. Constitution of the United States was not signed July 4th. That's the declaration. Constitution came after the declaration. So it was the declaration Articles of Confederation, and then, number three, Constitution. So, the document established the powers of the new national government. Nope, that would be the um, Articles of Confederation, First Ten Amendments. Nope, Bill of Rights. Created the government based on shared power. Pio! Brilliant. Is that a shrimp? I don't know what that is. 
Oh, it's Brill. Krill. I don't know what that is. The court system established during the presidency of, it was Washington. He immediately said, we got to have judges here to, to handle all these cases. we got to have some kind of judicial system. They had already had the Supreme Court, but there were other um, federal court systems. Yeah, it was Washington. Washington. Binder, binder break. I don't, that makes no sense, does it? The jokes are the worst in quizzes. No wonder you guys can't stand it. Bill of Rights was the first 10 amendments, you know, like the First Amendment, right to free speech, freedom of the press, freedom of religion, right to assembly. Um, you know, Second Amendment, you guys in Amelia know that one, the right to pew pew. So it's the first 10 amendments. There's 10 of them. I'm going to make you guys memorize those. And maybe I'll let you go back out to recess. Just kidding. Um, maybe not. Constitution established not the new government. That was not. It, it was... Each branch of the government limited by powers. Written rules and laws under which a government is run. Gotta have that. Is your teacher a monster? Ha! <laughs> Sometimes, but I'm just awesome because I'm Mr. Mr. Dearman. You know, oh, look, I got some, some candy here. The Bill of Rights was added to the Constitution to guarantee what? Bill of Rights added to the Constitution. It was individual powers. Let me make sure that. Bill of Rights was added to the Constitution of the Individual Freedoms. I think it was there. Oops, I don't know if I got that one right. Did I miss that? Did I mess it up? The executive Branch, that's like the president. He's the chief executive officer. So, he carries out the laws. And the president and his administration. Yep. Look, I'm going to some candy. Because I can have candy. All right, what are we doing? I think I messed that other one up. I feel bad about that. What type of governments did the Articles of Confederation? It was a weak national government. It was USA, but one like big USA, USA. It was more of USA. And then big Virginia and Connecticut and all these other states. So it was a weak national government. One a monarchy because we didn't want that. Look at me rolling. An amendment. To amend something, I'd like to amend my statement I just made. Or my answer, it means to change things. Or to make an addition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did the Articles of Confederation give the Congress the power to tax? Absolutely not. And that was one of the problems with them. Taxing was voluntary. Remember when I go around the classroom under the Articles of Confederation? Nope. Um, do you want to pay tax? No. Do you want to pay tax? No. Hey, but doggy, do you want to pay tax? No. So it did not give them the power to tax. Checks and balances. Well, a check is kind of to put a check on something. It's kind of keep it in place in hockey. They call checking somebody like, pow, you put them up against the wall. You know, kind of hold them, keep them held back. So the checks and balances, so where each branch, meaning... The legislative branch with the people that make the laws, the chief executive branch, which is the president who kind of helps make the laws go forward and carries them out. Um, then the judicial branch, which interprets them. It says, this is what that law means in an actual case in court, um, how that works. All three of those kind of keep in check and balance the others. So the Supreme Court is appointed by the president, so he can appoint those justices. So that kind of keeps them in check, but the legislature has to write the laws first and can impeach the president. So they're all kind of keeping each other in, in line. What to do? Limited by the powers given to other branch checks and balances. Oh, got it. How are we doing here? Almost done. Come on, give it to me, give it to me. Match the following. First president is always George Washington. Is that, did we put him here? Does that work? Thomas Jefferson's third president? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, this is not working. He's got to be third. Pre oh, wait, does it move it like this? No, oh, well, it's not letting me do it. So I'll just tell you the first one. First one's George Washington. I don't know why this is not working. First president's George Washington, then was John Adams. So it's Washington adds, let's say, Jeff. Do you know somebody named Jeff or Tom? And he's mad at 
Marilyn Monroe. I don't know. Washington adds t- thumb, like Thomas. Jefferson, Washington, a washing machine adds a thumb, makes mad, you know, Monroeing, rowing a boat. If that helps you think of it. So, anyways, whatever this is doing, it's not matching this. Okay, so let's go. It won't let me move these around. So don't let's don't think it's letting me do what I wanted to do here. So there, there it is, and let's see if that works. Anyways, those are one I could go through with you now. Oh, here it's letting me do it. Okay, so dragging it down. Okay, so which one's this? Is it not letting me do it? Is it? Okay, let's let's go Washington. Let's see if it lets me drag him down. John Adams. It's not letting me do it. I don't know why it doesn't do this. It's not letting it work. I uh, know. Doesn't let me do it. I, it won't do that. Well, I don't know what's going on here. It's not letting it work. So, in any case. He's fourth. Okay, so it's not letting me do it, and this is wasting everybody's time. So, so that's that. All right, well, too bad. That was terrible, but anyways, I think you understand how we got most of those correct, right? Yes, that's right. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it wrong. All right, guys, I hope this helped out. Um, If there's anything else you need, well, I'll be here and maybe tonight, here at 7 o'clock or 7 or 8 o'clock tonight, you know what it'll be.